first we capture the wastewater and store it temporarily in an on-site tank. In many situations where direct access to city main or to wastewater treatment plant, a storage tank isn't necessary. Next, this water is pumped from the storage tank through the shark system where the solids are macerated and then temporarily separated by our patented shark technology. Now this energy rich water is sufficiently screened and can efficiently pass through a heat exchanger without worry of clogging. After the process water has passed through the heat exchanger, it can work with the heat pump technology to create hot water for use in the building. The shark helps support a nearly limitless supply of thermal energy for water heating while drastically reducing utility bills and greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels. Once the energy is pulled from the dirty water, the now colder wastewater joins the separated solids and continues its way down the sewer system. The shark can also be used in hydronic heating loops to supply space heating. And with cooling systems, where the system operates in reverse and thermal energy is dumped into the sewage water. This is a great alternative to air conditioning cooling towers, where the shark can not only reduce energy costs, but also water consumption. We're on site of an actual shark system installation, and down here is where our sewage comes in. The sewage from our storage tank enters through our piping arrangement up to our shark, where it actually does the filtering for the raw sewage. Once we've filtered the sewage, it will run through the piping assembly here down to our heat exchanger. Once it's in the heat exchanger, we then extract the heat out of that raw sewage that we filtered, transfer it to the heat pumps where then they transfer the energy on into the building. Once we've extracted the energy out of that sewage, it makes its way through the piping, back out to the tank. All the way over to our control panel, where it tracks, does all of our controls that allow us to track the system so that we know at any given time how we're doing on the system.